You see this? Guys, I was about to make a video, um, I would say sm a lot smaller than this because before this shit even happened, I was gonna show you a two minute video <laughs> on some extra gameplay, which was fairly new. Some people seen it, but not a lot of people seen it. So I was about to show it and break that down and stuff like that. There was a, a couple gameplay tidbits that was in there that I think you guys would have found interesting, especially guys that's on the fence, but there's no need to do that anymore because apparently Stellar Blade, I would say roughly about two hours ago, this is very recent. I caught it, I'm glad I caught it. This was two hours ago. I guess the demo was, don't try to download this demo right now because it's not available. So as I'm making this video right now, the demo is gone from the PlayStation Store. So what happened was the demo actually dropped, I would say about two hours ago for 20 minutes. So that was enough for people who was constantly on the store and they caught it and they downloaded it. And there's now people uploading videos that nobody knows about right now. So it's gonna, once the internet figures out, it's gonna catch up and people are gonna start posting and they're gonna start analyzing this video over and over and over again. So I caught it right when it dropped. So this person who actually had this walkthrough gameplay, I'm gonna link him in the description so you guys can go over there and check it out yourself. But I caught the demo. So there's no point in me doing the video that I thought I was gonna do, which was a, analyze a three minute video. This is a 12 minute demo that I can actually look at and we can look at together to figure out the people who are on the fence because I know how we felt. And we were trying to see whether this game was just all jiggly, but the gameplay footage that I seen was going to prove that wrong, but this is really probably going to prove that wrong, depending on what they're going to show. If it's just the very beginning of the game or just a slice of a combat section or not, I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't even know what this is yet. We're going to jump into this, but before we do that, guys, I did a Stellar Blade fan art. I don't see too many people doing it, but if you guys want to support me directly, if you guys want some cool art anyway, just head to my shop at jadaconcept.com. I got two prints, two versions, one of that famous red outfit that we guys know and love. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys want to check that out, if you guys want to support me directly, I'm going to be doing a lot more Stellar Blade artwork for the game that's up until release, which comes out next month already. Go over there, check it out if you guys want to, and yeah, we about to hop into this. I'm not about to waste no more time. This is 12 minutes, never before seen. Let's go. And this is obviously from her ship, you know, her view. So it's kind of starting off like a near Automata would. As of now, Airborne Squad 7 will exterminate the Alpha Nativas occupying District 3. Their objective is the capture or dispatchment of the Elder Nation. Pods entering atmosphere. Okay. One minute until threshold is reached. So do they live on these things? Oh, this is some real angel shit. This is clearly... Activating shield. Yeah, that's angel shit. I got the shield. Or is that a? Yes, a force field. Whoa. They getting fucked up. Oh, so that's all her people. That's a lot of people. So they all just like her? God damn. <laughs> Every time I see a drop pod, I think about Hell Divers and that music that happens when you drop. Dun, 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 dun. Like that shit is epic as fuck. So this shit already. They getting fucked up in the air. They're blowing up. And that's Eve right there. Uh, no. So it's spelled E V, not just E V E. Uh, 
07531, pod landing complete. Removing physical shield. Opening hatch. I'm like, please don't open the hatch. Hatch. Come on. Come on. Her voice sounds familiar. I wonder who that is. I gotta look up her English voice actor. But to tell you the truth, I'm not gonna be playing in English. Hopefully they got a Japanese version because I really want to play it in Japanese. Any Japanese game or Korean, I love to play it in their language. It's not to say that they're you know that the voice acting is bad or anything like that, because I don't know. It sounds good, but I want to play it in Japanese. I've seen her a bunch of times. This place is dangerous. Take my hand. I sure will. She got a robot arm. Huh. Holy crap. Uh -uh, let's go back and look at that, people. Oh, wait. Look at that. With the explosion going back there. we seen this outfit in one of the trailers before. Just like this. Wow. Nice. There we go. This way to the Bro, listen to the music. All right, let's see. Oh, she just cut it in half. Oh, this game is violent. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is gory. I didn't think this game was going to be violent like that. Like, they're literally cutting people, cutting things in half. That was close. I love this music. It reminds me of the guy. That near composer going hard, man. If you guys don't know, the guy who worked on Nier's um, score is actually working on this game, too. So that's the reason why it sounds so good. It's very, very good. Do they kill them motherfuckers like this? It's an unlisted Natiba. I'll handle this one. Okay, they got a parry system, kind of like Sekido. Nice. Watch out. There's more. Okay, so the video I was going to make before, I'm just going to say it. You only get one weapon in this game. It's the Stellar Blade. It's, well, what her weapon is called, Stellar Blade. That's literally what she has. So that's it throughout the entire game. It's kind of like, it's literally just like Sekiro to where it has the, the parry system to where if you keep on parrying, you break their stance, which allows you to do, you know, kind of like Sekiro. So for people who think that there's going to be extra weapons in the game, it's not. So don't get it twisted or don't get your hopes up or whatever the fuck. I st you still can have an excellent game with just one weapon if you're creative. I don't really care. I like this system though. I like the parry system. Great. Let's go. When you hit an enemy or parry an enemy, beta energy is charged. Okay. And the beta um charges are just like special attacks. That's basically what it is. What do you mean by body frame? Is it like an exo scooter suit or something? There's more of them. Ooh. I like how these things actually feel like a threat. Like they don't feel like they just, um, you know, like your kind of people can just mow them down. It don't even seem like that. It seems like these things are really, really dangerous. Let's get out of here before more of them 
show up. This music going in. You secured. Rendezvous point in sight. This way. Watch out for gardeners interception. God damn. Look at this shit that's going on in the background. What the fuck? God. Dog, you got a lot of shit happening back there. What the fuck is that big thing? An alpha nativa. There Let's we go. They are getting clapped. <laughs> they are literally getting clapped. For some odd reason, I don't trust her. I don't trust the, um... No. I think that no. she's her superior. They are getting fucked Slime up. We're the only two left. I didn't think this game was going to be this violent, though, to tell you the truth. I really didn't. I thought it was going to be, like, a light version. Like, you know what I mean? You guys know exactly what I mean. Like, there's a, there's two versions of M-rated games. There's, like, violent, and then there's gory violent. This is This is on that level. Listen to me. We haven't completed our mission. She is. Get, look that at that sword. To us to see this mission through. Understand? Ooh, baby girl is bad. She gave me Sephiroth vibe, man. For real, she like she starts off good, and then um, I I just feel like she's gonna betray you. I'm getting this whole Cloud and Sephiroth dynamic going on with both of them. Oh, they actually showing this. Okay. Look at his health bar. I want to know what all this means up here. Because he got all these health bars. And if it's anything like Sekiro, I think this is, um, this is like... What, what the fuck is, are these? And what are these three? I think this is like shields. I don't know. I'm just throwing straws in the wind right now. <laughs> wow, look how much damage this nigga doing to him. Look how much. Oh, these things ain't no pussies for real. That was a hard cut. That right there was a hard cut. I think in the real demo, because I just know games anyway. I already know in the real demo when it finally comes out, if it if it was actually real or not. You're going to actually fight this thing for real. Because I don't see a tutorial section just cutting it off right there. Or are you supposed to die? I think she actually died. That's probably the reason why I went to this. Guys, I think I figured out. I think this boss is going to be either you kill it or you die. But either way, it still progresses in a way. And I think they're going to do the whole Demon Souls thing too to where like th this boss right here, you can either beat it or die to it. But depending on what you do, there's going to be two different outcomes, I think. So that's what I'm getting from it. This person clearly died from it. I'm gonna have to do some fan art of her if y'all want. <laughs> Shit. You fought well. Even better than during training. You were all together. But then. Uh... Yep, that's the exosuit. Okay. The damage to your body frame is serious. They call it body frames in this though, yeah. 
I don't know why I thought she was an android the entire time. I thought she was just like 2B for some reason, but I, I like the fact that she's tangible, that she's a that she's a human, Wait, and it's just a suit. I hear something. Eve. Eve, are you all right? I'm dying. Something is telling me something about her. I just think that she's going to betray you. I don't know why. Maybe it's in her eyes. This is straight biblical shit. This looks like a straight up devil may cry enemy. No, she want her. God damn. Bro, this game is more violent than I thought. What the fuck? So they killed her? I was just getting to like her. Okay, I guess she's not going to betray you. She not dead. She, not. she ain't dead. She ain't dead. Wow. Okay, if anybody knows games, I I know for a fact that she's not dead. It just looks like, and we're probably gonna run into her later on in the game. I don't know why I like to speculate like this, but it's fun. But I know for a fact that she's probably not dead. She's too big of a character. But she reminds me a lot of Sephiroth in a lot of ways. Like y'all relationship is basically like Cloud and Sephiroth, I think. This was enough for me, but what I'm gonna do extra, because I think this is just gonna marry this together. I think what they showed is fantastic. I think it shows the, the feel, the voice acting, the violence, because I didn't think that this game was going to be this violent. I thought it was going to be a little bit less than that. So it kind of surprised me on that front. I'm glad they're going all, you know, to the wall, balls to the wall. I like that because I've been missing violent games anyway. I know I sound sick, but I've been missing violent, real violent, gory type of video games and stuff like that. So I kind of like this. And plus we get the, we get the character along with it. That's like a Give me this now. This comes out next month. Oh yeah, and I forgot. I got something for you. I got never before seen gameplay that I'm gonna show you with no commentary or nothing so you guys can get a look and feel of this shit. So without further ado, peace out. You guys have a good one. I'm out of here and I leave you guys with this. Check it out. Adam, get back!